can't tell. I chopped all my hair off. And I can't tell if I like it or not. It's kind of weird because I'm so used to it being so long. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with my Ribsat Round 8 TBR. It's a readathon hosted by Miranda over at Books 101. I'll leave her link down below. There's also like a Twitter page and stuff like that, so I'll also leave that down below if you guys want to participate. It's from May 1st, so today, until May 8th. And basically what you do is you pick a spot on your bookshelf, and you start at the first book, and then you just keep reading until the readathon's over. I'm only picking four books because I already pulled them from my shelf and I just got lazy and didn't want to carry them anymore but like I know where the spot is, it's like all the way over there on the books that I like want to read so badly. Without further ado, let us get started! <sighs> First book that I'm going to read for this readathon is one that I'm actually participating in a booktube tour for and it is The Novice by Taran Mathru. I'm not 100% sure if I'm saying that author's name correctly. But this is book one in the Summoner duology or trilogy? I'm not sure if it's a duology or a trilogy. But we also got sent the second book. So I'm going to read this one, and then I'm going to read this one, and it's going to be awesome. And it is a booktube tour hosted by Grace, so I'll leave her link down below. And basically we get sent these books by the authors, and we get to review them. And it's actually really cool, so if you guys want to check that out. I'll leave the links down below for that as well. This book follows Fletcher and he is working as a blacksmith apprentice in his town and he discovers that he is actually able to summon demons and he gets chased out of his town for a crime that he didn't actually commit and he goes to this school. The school is apparently supposed to help him become a battle mage and he is going to help fight the orc war. And it just sounds so cool. I'm only on like chapter 6 I think and so far nothing has really happened with the demon aspect of it. It's kind of just the backstory. But so far I'm really enjoying it. It's really cool and it's a really cool concept. So I'm very excited to finish this one and then move on to the second book in the duology, trilogy, not sure, the Inquisition. But I'm super excited. I think it's going to be really cool. So far it's really cool so... We'll see how it goes. So like how cool are these covers? I think they're so awesome. I just, I'm so excited to read these. Oh, I never noticed he has his little demon. It's like a little, you probably can't see that, but he's like a little pink dragon. He's so cute. The third book that I'm hoping to get to, which I mean, it's only three books for a week, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do it, but you know, knowing me, probably not. But it is Zoe Letting Go by Nora Price, and this is about a girl named Zoe who is in a hospital, but she doesn't think that she belongs there. It's for girls who want to hurt themselves and she doesn't think that she's one of those girls. So she starts writing letters to her best friend Elise in order to help her stay sane in this hospital but the thing is Elise is never writing back to her so she is kind of trying to deal with that and then she also starts to discover things and secrets that she didn't know about herself and it's basically her struggle through that and it just sounds like a mental health book. So you know me and my mental health weirdness obsession, so I have to read it. So I'm gonna read it. And then the final book that I'm hoping to get through is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I've had this on my shelf for a million trillion thousand years. And I figured, you know, it's a pretty hefty book, and it was the next in the line, so I didn't pick another one because, you know, probably won't finish it. But your girl can have her hopes and dreams up. But this is about a girl named Emily whose best friend Sloane disappears, but she leaves this list of things that Emily must do in order to find Sloane. And it sounds real interesting. Everyone seems to love this book, so I'm hoping that I also love it. We'll see how it goes in my wrap-up. Alright guys, so that was the four books that I was hoping to finish for the Read Your Book Shelf-a-thon from May 1st to May 8th. Hopefully I'll get it all done. Knowing me, I'll probably just procrastinate in the read on the last day because your girl never does the things she says she's gonna do. So I will see all of you guys in my next video. Goodbye. Watching Zoe go. Nope, that, that's not the title. We tried, but we failed. We failed miserably. Life. Zoe Letting Go by Nora Pierce. Price, not Pierce. Jesus.